So fat and diabetes. It's probably one of the most ignored, most important pieces of diabetes that really doesn't get mentioned much. When we think about diabetes and fat, we have to realize there are two different types of fat that will affect our blood sugar. The fat stores we have on our body, every one of us, and the fats that we take in each day. By keeping it a healthier body weight, we help to decrease that. Even a difference of 10 or 15 pounds can make a big difference for people's blood sugar control, and it's because of the fat in our system being less. Our body extra fat tissue and the fat we take in both create something called insulin resistance. The best way to picture it is if insulin opens the door to cells so that food can go in, basically what the fat does is it keeps that door from opening as easy. It's kind of like having gum in the lock. Sometimes a lot of our foods have hidden fats, items such as nuts or maybe high fat meats, but we also have added fats that we have every day. And we want to choose as healthy a version as those as we possibly can. We're in a better situation if we're using polyunsaturated or monounsaturated fats, items such as a sparing amount of canola oil or olive oil, or even the sprays can work very well because they give you a thinner layer. If you're doing some baking and you need to utilize more of a solid type of a margarine, doing something along the line of a trans fat free margarine stick, or if you use butter, using that sparingly so that your recipes still turn out right, but that we don't have as many high fat items in our diet. What you will find is for many people, their blood sugar is more impacted by the amount of fat that they have than it even is by the amount of carbohydrate they have in some cases. That's the trick of diabetes is it's all individual to you. So the more you pay attention and you learn about what impacts you and your diabetes, the better experience you're gonna have in taking control and having a sweeter life with diabetes.